So coming off of quarantine and going home early last spring, um, you know, it's kind of a unique period of time for college athletics in general. Um, Lauren not excluded from that, but, but for Lauren, when she came back in the fall and we had a couple of virtual competitions um, that we did against other MAC schools, and those went really well for her. Uh, so clearly she had you know, been diligent and staying on top of things. Um, when we got to track season, she came back from winter break. Um, some of her early workouts over the winter were just super impressive um, at another level that I had not seen Lauren uh, previously at, and that's even considering she went to cross country nationals in 2019. She was doing some things at practice that I had never seen her do before. Um, just had me really excited. Um, but still, being able to do well in practice and having that correlate to the high level performances she had in meets, that's the next step. So it was just a great spring for her to, to try some new things. The 10K was brand new to her this year, the steeplechase was brand new as well. Um, it was just a, a time of opportunity that we wanted to make sure we took advantage of. All right, so Lauren. You know, it was kind of every Division three college coach's dream athlete, right? So somebody that was good in high school, a really good athlete, um, but then once you got to college, you kind of tell that there was more room for growth, right? Um, she should not have gotten Rookie of the Year for cross country her freshman year based on her high school accolades, but she came in, she, you know, just hopped right into everything with a great attitude, um, working hard, um, starting to believe in herself a little bit more, and just quickly rose through the ranks. Um, had a very good track season, her, her outdoor track season her freshman year was tremendous too, getting a bronze medal in the 5K. Um, sophomore year we had some ups and downs, right, but we started to figure out exactly the best way to work with her as a student athlete. She's incredibly good at communicating, so um, we're really at a spot now, senior year, where things are just clicking very well for her. Um, we know what to do, um, we know you know the types of workouts that are working best for her, so um, just it's been a, a long journey, uh, and I feel so good about where she's at as a student athlete currently. Uh, this year in particular, you know, we had talked last year before we got sent home about maybe trying Lauren in the 10K in the spring. She had never gone above 5K. She was open to it, um, but again, we didn't get to do that. So this year, I think she was really hungry for it. When we went, I had thrown out the possibility of breaking our school record. We talked about what that would look like. I didn't know that would require her winning the race by almost two and a half minutes to do so, um, which was just... Uh, for anybody watching that evening at Widener that Friday night, it was just impressive. It was windy, and she was just like locked in, running at school record pace the whole time. Um, super impressive effort. Um, got later into the season. We actually didn't race her too much this spring. We just focused on her training. Uh, when we got to conferences, both the 10K and the 5K fields were stacked uh, with incredible athletes from different schools. Uh, the 10K, you know, we try to take it one race at a time, so for her to win the 10K was incredible. But for her to come back and win in the 5K was even more impressive, especially the way it was run. They ran a little slow for the first mile, and then they just cranked it down and were running incredibly fast for the last two, two miles. Um, really proud of her to just be able to stay composed, um, work through some discomfort in that 5K and finish out strongly to win both the events was just absolutely amazing. Um, postseason, we decided to switch things up a little bit. Um, 10K doesn't really exist in postseason. It's starting to get really warm, so we don't like to pursue that. So we talked about doing a steeplechase. I literally never jumped over hurdles with her at practice before. Um, Coach Byler and myself, you know, started training her a little bit. You can't do too much because you don't want to make somebody super sore right before um, a last chance meet when they're coming off of a big conference meet. So we just teased in a little bit of work. Um, kind of set her loose last week and she got um, you know the steeplechase school record she was actually all just announced all region in that along with her 10k so just a tremendous spring for her really proud of everything that she's done so for Lauren um, as awesome as this year was and we're so excited about it we're also blessed that she's a physical therapy major and we're gonna get to work with her again next year um, she did such tremendous things for our team this year um, across the board, but we get her back for cross, we get her back for indoor and outdoor track next year. Um, I think there's some really big things ahead for her, so we're, we're just really excited about that and you know, thankful that she's uh, such an incredible leader on our team.